to see Hayden back in the role of Anakin. Well, it was sort of spine tingling. It was, um, it was amazing, but it was just amazing to see Hayden full stop. I mean, I'm so close with him. We've stayed in touch over the years, but we haven't seen each other for a long time. And as it got closer and closer to the shoot, and um, once Hayden was on board, he was in LA and we met, we, it was during the lockdown and we met in Santa Monica in a park and we both walked along with our masks on outdoors and we had this long catch up. It was so lovely. Like it, it just been years since we actually saw each other, not for any reason other than just, you know, just locations and I was here and he was in Canada. And, but I love him so much and we have this very special bond of, of and making two of the, those first three films together. And um, yeah, it was an important part. It was in, so important for both of us, for our careers and for who we are. And um, so we had just so much to catch up on, life stuff and um, where we're at. And, and it was so lovely to see him again. And then to be on set with him again was, it was, it was just odd. It was oddly, it was like time hadn't happened or something. I really, I, I, I looked across at him and there's cam, you know, there's, we're on a set and I look over at him, he's Anakin now, I'm Obi-Wan now, and it's like nothing had happened. Like, I didn't see any age on his face. I didn't, I just felt like, we, yeah, we we just, like the the period of time between episode three and now just hadn't, didn't exist or something. It was so peculiar.